let's do a St. Patrick's Day painting. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm taking my mop brush with some green and I'm doing a border with bright green and dark green here all the way around the outside. I want it to be light green towards the outside and darker towards the middle. And I want it to be like a painting in a painting. So once that's dry, I'm taking my mop brush with some blue and white and doing back and forth strokes in the middle, keeping some of the green all the way around the outside, but I want it to look just like a painting on the inside. So there's my sky. Let's do some clouds using the same brush that I did for the sky while it's still wet. The blue and white is still on my brush, just taking the white paint and tilting the handle towards me while bouncing it in a cloud shape. Don't worry if you get too much white, you can always go back in with some blue and blend it there, but doing it while it's still wet really helps to make it blend. And of course we have to have a rainbow coming out of these clouds, so I'm putting all the colors on a plate next to each other and taking a large flat brush. This is one and a half inches. And taking some water first when the painting is completely dry, I'm going to practice my swoosh of the rainbow. We're gonna do a one stroke rainbow. Notice how I am rotating it counterclockwise as I go up over the curve. Load it up and while it's still wet, do your stroke. There you go, the water helps smooth it out. You can go over it more than once if you need to, but I wouldn't do it more than twice. So once I do that, then I'm gonna go back and add some brighter green in for the border. I think it looks like a painting on a painting. That's pretty cool, looks like it's peeking in. But I do wanna have some ground because right underneath that rainbow, I wanna have a pot of gold. So I'm doing some uneven strokes to make it look like rolling hills and some dark green. Let's do some light green over top of that while it's still wet to help it blend. And let's do some grass with a detail brush, still using that dark and light green together, doing some upward strokes, not all perfectly straight. They're kind of tilting towards each other, all different heights and a couple different patches. I'm gonna leave the spot underneath the rainbow clear for that pot of gold, but you can do these all over if you want. You could even use the fan brush if you wanted to do that technique. I'm gonna add some dark green clover with my sea sponge too, all over the bottom half there. Oh, there you go, even some bright green for some highlights, perfect. Okay, even add a couple more bright green patches. Up to you how much detail you do. Let's do this pot of gold, taking a medium round brush with some black and dark brown. I don't want my pot to be dark black, I feel like everybody does that, but I want mine to be kind of like a bronze kettle. <laughs> taking the dark brown and black, I'm doing a U and filling it in. I want it to be a little flat on the bottom, but curved up, it's kind of a tall U. Let's do some black at the bottom for some shading. And how about a big smiley face at the top goes over each of the corners to make it look like it is, has an edge. And let's give him some ears for handles with a detail brush. And I want it to look shiny, so I'm going to take some antique copper metallic paint and brush that on as well. Ooh, that's so shiny. You can't even see that in this video, but in person it is really shimmery. I love that. I'm gonna do that all over. I do wanna add some shading back in, so I'm taking some black. Still using my medium round brush, let's do the handles and the edge up here as well. Perfect. Don't forget that shading. Fix it up. And let's add some gold using some gold and white. I'm taking my medium round brush and just using the tip and dotting in some gold coins. You can make it as full as you want. I'm just doing them nice and tiny there so it looks like it has a whole bunch of them in there. Perfect. And I always have to add highlights. So with a detail brush, I'm gonna take some white and just do some pops of white at the tops and around the edge. Perfect. Okay, let's add some three leaf clovers. Did you know to do a three leaf clover, all you need to do is make a heart. Take the heart and fill it in and you're gonna need two more of those hearts connected at the point at the bottom. See that? Put all the hearts together and they make a three leaf clover. Let's give them some friends here. I'm gonna do a couple of them. Those are giant clovers compared to the pot of gold. So apparently my pot of gold is leprechaun size, but that's okay. I want it to be cute today, not realistic. So I'm gonna do three giant clovers here in the grass. And let's brighten up the insides with a detail brush and bright green from the grass and the border. I'm going to do some strokes from the outside towards the inside and some highlighted areas around the curves. There we go. That really makes them look a little bit more three-dimensional. And on top of that, don't forget some pops of white as well. That helps them stand out a little bit more. Love it. Okay, let's even do some pops of white in the center. So a couple other things you can do. I feel like I need some birds flying over the rainbow. So I'm gonna take a Sharpie and just do a couple wide Vs. I think Sharpies are easier to do than using a detail brush sometimes, especially for beginners who have a hard time getting really, really fine strokes. 
And I showed my husband. He said I needed a shadow under the uh, pot of gold. So there we go. I added some shadowing with some grass, a couple more highlights. And okay, I have to be extra. I'm trying some gems to see what it looks like on the border and on the rainbow. I love that. That is my personality. But if you don't have the gems, I just got them at Walmart. But I'm going to take a pouncer then and just go around the outside with some polka dots. You could totally leave it plain, but I have to have something because that's just me. And there you go. There is a St. Patrick's Day pot of gold painting. Have fun with this one. I know I did.